It was just like any other day in the middle of the afternoon, in the middle of the week, in the middle of the year, in the middle of the century. The ticking clock was a rhythmic sentinel framing the day in seconds. Some people say that time is an enemy. Others say that it's your friend. I just know that it had slowed to a crawl. I was itching for my next big case. That's when the phone rang. Yeah? Hello. My name is Ms. Bengal, and I work for Dr. Truly at Truly Eye Care. Yes, Ms. Bengal? How can I help you? We need your help. We've been robbed. Calm down, Ms. Bengal. What's been stolen? Time. Someone's taken our time. Every minute is precious to us, and now it's gone. Where did my day go? Ms. Bengal, when did you first notice your time was missing? I began getting suspicious soon after I started working here. At first, it was a few minutes here and there, then an hour, and then it seemed like all of my time had vanished. Why didn't you call sooner? Well, at first I thought I was imagining it. And then, well, I hate to say it out loud, but I think our time is being stolen by someone in the office. Hmm inside job. That's a serious allegation. I know. That's why I didn't call sooner. Can you help us? Don't worry, Miss Bengal. You've contacted the right private eye. I'm not only going to find out who stole your time, I'm going to help you get it back. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. So, the time thief has struck again, leaving another office in crisis. But this time, the trail hasn't grown cold. I've got to move quickly to nab this crook. The scene of the crime. Yes, that's where I'll begin. The scene of the crime. See what we have here. The receptionist, the office manager, then there's the assistant, and the eye care professional. I see. It's all very clear now. Time to pull all of the players together. Our office. So I'm very glad. Do you think the private eye has solved the theft of our time? I just hope she finds out who did this to us. Someone robbing us of our precious time. I still can't believe it. Who would do a thing like that? Have you solved our theft? I solved your theft. Can you help us? I can help you. Do you know who's to blame? I know who's to blame. Who is it? I'm glad you came to me, Ms. Bengal. You can call me Rose. 
Rose. Rose Bengal. Yes? You are responsible for robbing your office of time. I've never stolen anything in my life! I'm the one who called you! Probably just to throw us off the trail. Rose, I'm not doubting that your intentions are pure, but ignorance is no excuse. You're guilty of stealing precious time from your practice, and you've been doing it for a long time. I'm innocent! Yeah, right. Rose, have you taken a long, hard look at your work area lately? My work area? Your cluttered, jumbled, disorganized, chaotic work area? My work area? Searching for important papers or files in that quagmire steals precious time from the office. Time that could and should be used to do something else. But I know where everything is. Oh, really? Let's be honest, Rose. You're simply fooling yourself into believing that. Losing important paperwork or information in that confusion on your desk can create more work because you have to redo it. Deadlines missed, calls unreturned, people forgotten. The impression you send to patients and coworkers is that you don't care. And this may be an even greater crime than the loss of time. All because of your clutter. Cleaning up your work area can help you to find some of that time you've been missing, Rose. Rose? Yes? There's more. Oh. Once you clear the clutter from your desk and make a pledge to keep it organized, then you can begin to organize your routines. My routines? Your routines. Think about how many steps you retrace when you do a simple job, like delivering contact lenses to the patient. You keep the lenses on one side of the room, the solutions on the other, the receipts are in the filing cabinet and the credit card machine is in the back. Keep everything together that you need to get the job done and reinvest that wasted time. Rose, I understand that you work at the center of activity in the office. It's hard not to be constantly interrupted by patients and other team members needing your attention. But if a job is best done in a quiet area, Move. A task that may take hours to finish if you're constantly interrupted might only take 15 minutes if you can concentrate on it. I, I'm so sorry, everyone. I had no idea I was steely. Yeah, I'll believe that when I see it. I knew it was her all along. It's all right, Rose. Everyone makes mistakes. That's very generous of you, Dr. Truly, considering you also stole time from the practice. Me? Yes, you. No surprise to me. I saw through him from the very beginning. Your habit of procrastinating adds up to time lost. Remember, taking an hour off is easy. The hard part is trying to put it back. If a job is something you're going to have to do eventually, do it right away rather than put it off. Do you think those things you ignore magically take care of themselves? No. Instead, the people that are relying on you to do your job are being left waiting. Each second of the clock, ticking away one more precious, irretrievable moment. Oops. The time used to retrace your steps and look for the lost threads is time that's lost forever. You can also recoup some of your lost time if you always make sure that you put things back where they belong. Doesn't make sense that I'd steal time from my own practice. It's the perfect cover for the crime. Unfortunately, what doesn't make sense, Dr. Truly, are the directions you give to patients and staff members. But I write everything down. If people can't read what you write, it doesn't matter. You have to be clear in your speech and your writing in order to give others the tools they need to get their jobs done in a timely fashion. I had no idea. I realize that. Thank you for getting to the bottom of this. I guess Rose and I have a lot of work to do. Oh, Dr. Truly, I'm not done. The theft of time doesn't end with you and Rose. It's more far-reaching than that. Where was Floracy? Well, there you are, Flora. Let me ask you, why do you carry so many papers? 
I need them? Here it comes. Do you really? Or are you hiding behind them? Are they your security blanket? Flora, by holding on to unnecessary things, you create more work for yourself and less time to do it in. Don't become emotionally attached to your paper. Look at each piece you handle and ask yourself if you need it. If you won't use it, lose it. And your system of sticky notes isn't the most efficient way to organize your day. It also makes it easy to lose important messages. Keep everything you need for the day on one sheet that's always easy to find. As office manager, you're responsible for buying office equipment. Isn't that right, Flora? Another burglary of time takes place whenever someone has to share small pieces of office equipment. But those things cost money. What costs more, Flora? To pay your employees for their time to search the office for a pen or tape dispenser? Or simply buying another? You may feel that your time is your own and you can decide how to spend it. But when you're part of a team, everyone must pull together. Everyone must be responsible. And everyone must work. Which brings me to you, Ms. Tropia. Yes, Emma Tropia. May I call you Emma, Ms. Tropia? Sure. You can call me Emma. Emma, it may come as no surprise that you also stole time from the office. I think you're mistaken. Oh, really? Emma, your attitude has challenged this office to the point of time bankruptcy. My attitude? What's wrong with my attitude? Your lack of interest keeps you from using time wisely. Emma, if things aren't done right the first time, what happens? Someone has to do them again. That's right. Either you or someone else on the office team has to redo the work. Not only did you fail to invest your time well in the beginning, you force someone to double dip into the time account when they have to redo your work. Do things right the first time. And Emma, some of your jobs are simply not performed as efficiently as they can be. I'm plenty efficient. Is that why you order lenses one at a time? When a lens needs to be ordered, I order it. But you'd be more efficient and you'd make better use of your time if you collected the orders and made just one phone call to a place of business rather than several calls to the same place each day. Also, Emma, I've noticed that even though you've had months to complete it, you still haven't begun to work on the inventory. I hate doing the inventory. I wish it would just go away. But it won't go away, will it, Emma? Take the emotion out of the task and simply do it. The only way to make it go away is to tackle it. Right, tackle it and right away. Then it isn't hanging over your head making you crabby. Well, OK, crabby. It's just such a big job and takes such a long time. I can't find the time to do it. You'll never find time. You have to make time. Break a big project down into smaller pieces so it's not overwhelming. Then it will be easier to get started, easier to stay with it, and easier to finish on time. You people are the lucky ones. Lucky? We've been stealing time from our office, each other, ourselves? Our patients. And we've been doing it a long time. You're still the lucky ones. You knew that you should have more time to get your work done. You sensed that you should be more relaxed at the end of the day. You understood how important each of the 28,800 seconds are in every workday. You got help. There are so many out there who are afraid or unwilling to look for their own time thieves. Thank you. You're welcome, Emma. Well, I think my work here is done. Do you think we're ready? Time will tell. Do you find that your precious time is mysteriously disappearing? Has the time thief burglarized your office? 
Here are a few tips that will totally impress perfect strangers and allow you and your office team to not only stop the theft of your time, but put valuable minutes back into your day. Your work area is an easy place to start to gain back valuable moments. Cluttered, disorganized, messy areas are traps for time. You can use the time you have more wisely if you work in a quiet area when you do a job that requires concentration. Make sure that you have all of the equipment you need before you begin your task. And if you have to borrow or move something, make sure to put it back right away. How you manage your routines can also keep irreplaceable time in your office. Prioritize your day and begin with your most important assignments so they get done when you're fresh. Once you begin a task, finish it. If it's a large, cumbersome project, break it down into smaller pieces and work to finish one section at a time. Combine as many tasks as you can to streamline your workload. Give the right job to the right person to make the best use of everyone's time. Your attitude can play a role in thwarting the time thief as well. Socializing and procrastination are two habits that rob a professional office of valuable time. Lose emotional attachment to paper. If you won't use it, lose it. Effective communication can also play a key role in keeping time from slipping through your fingers. Speaking clearly, writing legibly, and listening completely will all make tasks easier to complete and help them to be done right the first time. Time can be a fickle master, but remember, counting time isn't as important as making time count. you enjoyed this AccuView Eye Health Advisor staff training module. Stay tuned for more programs under construction. I can't see. Ring, ring. It is my delight. My eyes hurt to introduce Professor Toby Peel. Maybe I have the wrong number. Triage. Ooh, watch out for the red flags. Hello? Help. I can't see. Is there anything ooey or gooey coming out of their eyes. <laughs> Is ooey spelled with one ooey or two? It'll be fun.